they're not satisfied with the majority of society moving towards being more open-minded. That's not good enough to these people. People are essentially being told that they must march lock and step with a particular ideology, or they're an evil part of a patriarchal, white, supremacist, male, cis-heteronormative society. Well, here's the truth. They're right about what this country's culture is based on. It's a patriarchal, white supremacist, male, cis-heteronormative society, but it's one that has made so much incredible progress towards understanding and being more inclusive that we shouldn't just toss it away just because of what it used to be at one time. Like it or not, the underpinnings of our current patriarchal, white supremacist, male, cis-heteronormative society do come from Christian culture. The fact that it can morph and become more inclusive and less judgmental shows that it's not something to demonize as the ultimate enemy. The ones who want to take us back to both the 1950s and the 1850s are the ones we should be concerned about. And there are other religions and other religious cultures that are not able to be as fluid and adaptive as the majority cultures have here in the United States. These religious cultures that are not as fluid and adaptive, that it has been made very difficult to discuss without being labeled an evil Islamophobic part of a patriarchal, white supremacist, male, cis-heteronormative society. Because, you know, colonialism and patriarchy is only bad when we do it. But we've come a long way in this country, and we should be thankful and take pride that all the work that has been put into making this country better is paying off. This isn't to say that there's not a long way to go, because we indeed have a long way to go, but we can't discount the progress that has been made. Gay people being able to get married should really have let people know that, hey, the majority of the cultures here in the United States have become more open-minded. Let's celebrate that. And yeah, for maybe a few months after we first had gay marriage, we had a lot of celebrating of how open we've become. And eventually, it became like a Disney princess complain singing about wanting more in life. Here's another truth. Some people out there are out to get revenge on what they see as the patriarchal, white supremacist, male cis-heteronormative society. Anything that can tear it down, they're going to push for and do. They don't care how much progress has been made in this patriarchal, white supremacist, male, cis-heteronormative society. They don't care. They don't care about the Overton window. They don't care how insane they appear to people. They don't care if their message is even understood. Their goal is to destroy. Why do they care if their, their enemy understands or not? It's the enemy. Why be like one of the villains who tell the whole plot to the hero of the story. But yeah, their goal is to destroy. They want to take down Christian nationalism, but they're clueless on how to do it because it would require that they actually look at organized religion itself as being a problem, which would mean they'd actually have to admit that Islam can be a problem if it were to have power. 